Hello. Here we are then. Back survival ascended. Just turn this music down a little bit. Nope. Let me know if the audio is okay. I've just been setting it all up and stuff and I'm I'm quite tired, I've not slept much. Is the stream working? I don't think it's working, is it? My thing crashed. I think, I think I've crashed or something. I think my YouTube's crashed. Bear with me. Right, I think we're back. Sorry about that, my I think um, YouTube crashed on me somehow. I couldn't read any messages or anything. Right, anyway, here we go then. Uh, create game, I guess. Player, the island. Right, let's do this. Voice just bumpy. What do you mean bumpy? Oh, this looks like. Oh, not right. <laughs> Could this be the new fat dog? <laughs> not muscular enough, I don't think. Cutting out occasionally. Uh, right, let me just see if I can fix that. Oh, I know where it might be. Um, might be on my actual microphone. Right, let's try that. Is that any better? Okay, let's see. We've got a head. Better, cool. Right. Eye size. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just leave the eye size for now. I width, I iris color, I outer color, head style, head style. Uh. Where's that Afra? There we go. That's what we need. Hair length, long hair colour. Yeah, that's about right, actually, I think. 
Maybe we'll go a little bit lighter. Ah, eh? Is that just... Oh, there's two colours. There's root and there's tip. Go for that. And then... A bit lighter for the tip. That'll do. Eyebrows. Gotta have some nice eyebrows. What's this pathetic moustache? Can't be having that. Oh, we can go along. Uh. Oh, that's not too bad. Facial hair colour. That's alright, yeah. Head size. Go oh, big upper face size. Gotta whack that all the way up. Lower face size, yes. Head width, yes. Head depth, yes. Neck size, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Head height, <laughs> neck length, fat face, yes, neck muscle, yes, was wishing for more faces, yeah, yeah, I thought they'd have a little bit more different this is it. But I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. So, so chest size. I'm just going to end up spending all this stream making my character out of shoulder width. I think this is the easy bit now, though. Know what I'm doing with this. Hip width. Torso size. Torso height. Might end up being a bit ridiculous. Might have to turn this down a little bit. Tra trapezius muscle. I don't know what that is. Oh, put it there. Yeah, we'll have a bit of trapezius muscle. Back muscle. Yeah, we'll have that. Oh, that's a weird one. Fifty. Look pregnant. The heck. Right, I think we need to turn down some of these uh, hip width. Hip width is looking a bit crazy. Oh, do I get rid of this stupid massive belly? That's just ridiculous. Oh, there we go, Tarsa size. Go 50 on that. Needs to be like a bit wider in the middle. Hmm, that kind of helps. A 
belly fat. Mm. Yeah, I think I might have to play around with this a bit more later on. Arms, hand size, got to whack that right down. Upper arm size. I, that um, The body might not be so bad now that I've made the arms bigger, actually. Arm length. Reduce that. Try some muscle. Mm -hmm. A bit more customization going on with all this. Bicep muscle. Got like seventy. Arms fat. Why not? Size, upper leg size, lower leg size, leg length. Muscle, 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 muscle. I don't even know what this stuff's doing. Thighs fat, butt fat. Have a look at that. Aye, we'll have a bit of butt fat and calves. <laughs> Those calves are ridiculous. I need a, is that a hamstring. Oh no, that one's hamstring, isn't it? Which one's that one? Oh, calves, muscle. Or is there another one that does that? I don't know. That'll do for now anyway. Something like. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what a beautiful sight. Yeah. <sighs> I've even been reading these messages in the chat. I was like in a world of my own there. Uh, can I like save that? Yeah, save. Create. And let's go. Done one, that'll do. Are you the one I've been waiting for? You might I think we've be. all seen this before. Have we? Is this just the same? There's so normal arc, yeah. I Can I skip? Do I even oh, a bit sticky. I need to reduce my settings a little bit, maybe. Or is it going to be okay? Might be okay. I think it was just initially a bit, a little, a little bit sticky. Oh no, it is a little... Yeah, it is a bit sticky. Let's... Video. Hmm. Um. Some medium. Oof. Might need to invest in a new graphics card. Frame rate sixty motion blah, 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 blah. turn that off. Lower the shadows. General shadows. Pull the edge to one. Um this full edge quality is that what we're talking about? Let's 
That seems to be all right. We'll do for now. Right, have we got some creative mode? Does that work the same as it did? GCM? Yeah. Have a look at this then. Oh. Nice. Uh, it's so weird, like, seeing this, it's like you recognise the places, but they're just so different. Yeah, that's pretty mad, that. What GPU do I have? I can't actually remember, to be honest. Um... Forgotten. Uh, right, I've got a list of things I want to check out then. Let me just pull that up. Um, that's the wrong window, that one. So first of all, I just want to go through like the structures and have a look at them, like the different materials. What's cosmetics? Hmm. Let's, let's see what thatch pieces we've got. So the foundations. Nice, I like that. Looks smart. What's this? Oh, dark. Right, so you can, so you can't stack them. No, actually, let, let's just <laughs> let's just focus on on the um, the appearance at the moment. We're supposed to be looking at appearance. I need to not get distracted. We've got walls, and you can switch between those with R. So we've got different door frames and then window frame. Yeah, that's cool. And then you've got this door, which is like one thing but it adapts to the frame it seems yeah that's nice uh what else have we got right so the sloped walls now, they just change direction based on where you're looking. It's good. And we've got thatch roofs, which can also be stairs using R. Can you then switch that after you've placed it? Or is it stuck as a stair now? 
looks like it's stuck like that now. I don't know. And then we've got the ceiling as well. Hmm. Cool. So that's thatch. Let's have a look at wood. I need to remember to update my little thing. So we've got that, that, that. What's this? Quarter, our quarter and triangle ceiling. I thought there was going to be some smaller ceilings. Oh, lots of wooden things to try out. Cellar, oh, is that like a um, hatch frame? It's now called cellar door. That, what's going on there? Right, that'll do for now. That's a lot of things to try. Should get rid of those. Nice. So again, we can toggle these with uh, have we got anything? Oh, so we've got double door frame there as well on this one. Very nice. So these we can toggle between, we've got triangles and then we've got these little square ones which is quite cool. I think that's going to come quite in quite handy. Is that like instead of catwalks then? And we've got the fence foundation which can also be a fence support. So I assume the fence, yeah the fence foundations still behave the same way, like they'll snap to the round height. So we've got wooden ceiling, hatch frame, and cellar door. Ooh, that's cool. I like the sounds on that. Roof. So if we've got this, we've got this, and is that a spiral staircase? Oh, goes right into the corners. That's different. But it's kind of good in a way because. <laughs> How many times have you got stuck in the corner of those when they've been in the corner of this? I'm not sure how it'll look like when it's not got walls around it though. Might look a little bit strange. Let's just um, do a few more of those and see how it, how it looks. So you can change direction as well with these, it seems. Uh, 
Yeah. Not a massive fan of the look of that. But it's good for if, if you if you do have them in the corner. Secret doorway on walls, what are you on about? Let's check out these pillars then. So we've got wooden pillars. Oh, and they snap like they don't clip into each other like they did with the old ones. And they've got beams. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. And then, not bother looking at this too much because we've already tried out the functionality of that, but there we go. Let's see what else we can get. Let's just throw these things away. Ooh, the ladders are big. Wide ladders. Are they like the same width as these half? Yeah, they're pretty much the same width as these half. Or quarter ceilings, they're called, aren't they? Interesting. Can you, like, flip those? Don't think. No, you can't. I'm assuming you still interact with them in the same way, yeah. Can you snipe through the ladders? We'll have to check that out later. Oh, do these snap? Spikes seem to snap to certain things. Is that intentional or... I imagine that's intentional for them to snap to fence foundations. I don't imagine that that's intentional, but maybe it is, I don't know. That's, that well, could be, I suppose, I don't know. I'm guessing that's not intentional, I think that's that must be the railing snap point that it's using there. It's just a bit strange that you can't snap it to ceilings, but you can snap it to that sloped one. I just noticed that slope there. That's not as steep as this. Uh, we've got different steepnesses, which is nice. Right, next thing. Uh, quarter wall. Ooh, so we've got quarter walls. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. And quarter wall alternate. Oh, so because of the the um the texture there, like you don't want this. You don't always want the same. Not the texture, the model. You don't always want those bumpy bits in that to be that way around. Sometimes you want them that way, and sometimes you want them that way. Makes sense. And we've got the railing, of course. What's this triangle roof? And... Triangle roof corner. Oh yeah, this is... That one, yeah. So that's going to be very useful for roofs. Like, there's a lot more that you can do with roofs now because of that, like doing these corner things. And, of course, you can do it inverted as well with the corners. That'll, that'll be very good for building that. It's going to make, make a huge difference. 
We've got the large ball. Oh, they snap to the. It's only to the bottom of the stairs, but. Yeah, there we go. Large wall. Gateways. And gates. They. Similar size to what they were before, similar appearance. And behemoth ones. I'm not sure why the icon, I think the icons in the hotbar need a little bit of work. They're not matching up very well. Some are like light and some are dark. But then when you actually place the structures, they're the same. I'm loving all the new sounds that they've done. And we've got this large door obstructed, obstructed. There I'm going to place it there. There's no frames for these anymore, it seems. They just place without a frame, which cuts down on structures, I suppose. I'm not going to argue with that. Right, is there anything else to try? Behemoth door as well. Well, that's big. That's what she said. Nice. Oh, it goes like a little bit more open than. Does that one do that as well? It's not like 90 degrees open. Yeah, it was like a bit more, which kind of makes sense. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I think the only thing I'm not a big fan of so far is the appearance of them spiral stairs when you when they're not encased in like walls i think maybe they need to have two options for those two different models but apart from that i'm liking everything else so far appearance wise uh, stone then let's move on to stone I guess they've not done some of these icons yet. They look very similar to the existing icons. A stone ladder, I like that. That's very welcome. I'm also looking forward to having, hopefully, a steeper ramp that's made out of stone because like for the sake of making traps that was always a bit of a pain oh i also like that they've called these reinforced st structures stone reinforced for the sake of when you're searching it was always annoying having to search stone and then having to search reinforced as well Those quarters mean more than some men uh, are. Oh, for, for the sake of PvP? Is it for like putting, I saw something about people putting turrets on them or something. Is that what you're talking about? Okay, we've got the foundation. Yeah, I'm guessing they've not updated the icons for those yet. That must be coming later on.
Mm -hmm. I'm liking these. The, the, um, in Ark Survival Evolved, I always felt like the double doorways, the stone ones, didn't really match up very well with the other the walls, the other walls and doorways. But these ones match up really nice. Oh, I've crashed. Oh, it's crashed. <laughs> Too many structures game died. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's not a regular thing. What's everyone thinking to it so far then? I've not really looked at much because I, I wanted this to be a fresh experience for me, checking it all out. So I've not I've not seen much. Just seen the odd tweet about it and that. Join last session. Cannot stack foundation. No, but I think it's good what they've done from what I can tell. I'll, I'll look into the the, uh, the the mechanics a bit more later on. But from what I can tell, like you can build up and down terrain with them. But you just you can't like stack them up, which I don't think you should be able to. I think it makes sense what they've done. I like that. I don't think you should be able to put foundations like way up in the air. Oh, it's rolled back, isn't it? Let's quickly get this stuff back again then. Um, So foundation, we've looked at that in the wall, let's have a look at this ceiling. Yeah, so pretty similar to the one in ASE, but just kind of updated. I've just noticed you can't snap fence foundations to ceilings. But you can snap them to like, you can snap them off foundations. Uh, I'm getting distracted to get it again. We're supposed to be sticking to appearance. That's what we're focusing on. <laughs> can you? Yeah, I can snap that there. I'm getting distracted again. Right. So many things to try out. I just want to try out all the mechanics, but... <laughs> I need to stay on track. Those are a bit thinner. I think those are a bit thinner than the wooden ones, aren't they? Those stone pillars. Where did I place my wooden ones? Um, I don't know where my wooden pillars have gone. Did it roll them back? I think it might have rolled them back. Anyway, I think those stone ones might be a little bit thinner. Let's see, what else have we got? Those are the roofs. Let's 
Lots done. Walls as expected. Let's have a look at these. We've got reinforced. Oh, yeah, they look quite similar to the the ones in ASE. New sounds on them though. That's nice. Have they like just used the model from those ones and just give it a bit of a retexturing? I like the look of those. They look nice. They're a big upgrade them visually, I think. Right, that's pretty much stone done, I think, isn't it? Oh, we didn't have a look at the stone stairs. That'll be on ramp, will it? Let's just have a look at these. I kind of missed, skipped over those. So we've got. Hang on, let's start from this. So we've got ramp. Yeah, that's the one I want for the building traps. Then we've got this one, which is kind of the same visually, but not as steep. So. What was that first one called? Stone... Oh, so that's stone roof, that one. Then that's stone ramp. But I'd probably use the stone roof as a ramp more often. Then... Oh, we've got stairs, though. No, I'd probably use the stairs, actually. And then it's the same kind of thing with these, so they, they're like square shaped. Yeah, I think they need to add another model for that. That's the, that's the only thing I'll say about these structures so far. I'm not a big fan of is the appearance of these. It's good functionally, but if if you don't have walls around it, it's, it just looks pretty bad, that. What does everyone else think? Am I just being too fussy about that? Can you put railings on the stairs? Uh I can check that out for you quickly. Um, what are they called now? Is it the that's the quarter walls, isn't it? Stone railings. Oh, we didn't have a look at the stone railings, actually, did we? See, it seems you can put them like that, but not on the edges. It probably would be a nice feature to be able to put them on the edges, but I was saying that that's not going to be a straight edge, I don't think, is it? That's going to be like, you know, that's not going to be a perfectly straight edge, the, like from the top view it is, but from the side, that's going to be a bit of a curve, so I guess that's why they've not done it. But anyway, there's the railing, no holes in them anymore.
Agree on the stairs. It's chopped looking. Mm, yeah, I agree. Okay, moving on to metal. I like how they've done like pretty much the same, all the same structures in wood, stone, and metal. Running out that space over there. I think I'll go this way now. So we've got foundations. Oh, these look quite different. No more rust on them. <laughs> People are going to be happy about that. And we've got the quarter ones. Oh, you can flip those. Just realised. You can have that appearance as well. So that must be where it looks like underneath. Interesting. We've got the wall. Oh, they look quite different. So the metal's a, a big difference. The stone looks quite similar, and the wood kind of looks. Some of the wood looks similar. Some of it looks different. I think the stone's the most similar. But then this metal looks completely different now. Let's have a look at some of this other stuff. So we've got doorway. Secret doorway. What's the secret doorway? Oh! Did we have stone ones of those and I just missed it? We did. We've got stone secret doorways as well. Uh. <laughs> Let's map that. I saw some people commenting about secret doorways and didn't have a clue what you were on about. There we go, secret doorways. Aha, welcome to the stream. And friend, welcome. Uh, right, where did we get to? The uh, secret doorways. Got metal pillars. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, they look very different as well. I like that though. Yeah, I think that's a good change. Yeah. I wasn't sure about it. For the first couple of seconds there, but now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, that is a lot better. Quarter wall. Ooh, they snapped to pillars. Water walls. Sort of railings, interestingly. Oh, and you can do some sloped ones off that. That's interesting. Um, what else? We've got triangle roof and those ones as well. 
Metal roof. Metal ramp. Metal stairs. And staircase. Just want to have a look, see how this looks as well when you've got a few of them stacked up. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing by what I've said. They need two different versions of these spirals. I've not broken the game yet. No, I've, I've, um, I'm, I, I'm trying to be strict with myself and just look at the appearance of the structures at the moment. Fence foundations. Oh, we've got a bit of sand going over the top of that there. Is that intentional? I think that's intentional. Uh, we've got the fence supports, so we've got ladders. Got large metal walls, I'm assuming they look the same kind of thing as the other walls, yeah, just bigger. And we've got the gate. Uh, I like these new sounds for the structures. I think they've done a good job with us. And the behemoth gate. I can't apply it there. Obstructed. Nothing obstructing it. And about. Oh, that's. I, I love these sound effects. They actually sound like what you would expect that material to sound like. Yeah, big fan of that. And um, yeah, the metal looks great. Metal's a big upgrade visually, I think. But I don't think they've done as much with the stone visually, but I think it does look good. What they've done. Like, a, a small tweak on the stone has made a big difference. Whereas the metal kind of needed completely remodelling. Um, what else is there? Checked that out. Is there anything else? No, that's it for metal. Um, and we will move on to a tech. Different size teleporters now. Something to check out another day. Oh, we're going to have to check out them vacuum compartments now, though. Right, I think that's everything. I'm going to try and do these in a bit more logical order this time.
Ooh. It's a tall foundation. Is it getting dark? I think it's getting dark, isn't it? It's the command. Ah, oh, you're joking. Crashed again. Can we see greenhouse? Oh, I forgot about greenhouse. I'd like to see greenhouse. But while I'm waiting for this to load, let's add greenhouse to the list. Let's cut the bottom of that off now. Uh, let me expand that. Uh, what have we got? Oh, I keep pressing tab for the, the command thing and it's changed. Am I getting more or less frames than what than before? Or oh, than regular arc? I'm getting less frames for sure, but I need to play around with the settings and stuff. Big rollback, yes, there is a big rollback, but I'm not too bothered because we were just we'd just gone to tech anyway, so let's just get rid of that. these in here, we don't have time to be messing about triangle foundation walls, so the walls look very similar yeah they're almost identical apart from obviously the taller now Short doorway, the the doorway. Oh, the door. So the doorways look different. I never liked the look of the doorways before. We've got the secret doorway, of course. Ooh. Ooh, tech. Uh, what are they called? Oh, cellar doors. I wonder why they've changed the name of those. Oh, you can flip those as well, so you've got that side. 
then you can flip them and have that side. There are two different appearances you can have with those. And same with those, so different appearances with those, that's nice. Um, quarter ceilings. They seem to be very similar on the bottom and the top, so not much point flipping those ones. What about the triangles? That's that way around, and then you can flip it that way. So yeah, again, they're very similar. Just a slightly different colour, really. We've got the tech roof, the ramp, the stairs. And... Spiral stairs. Yeah, they look pretty nice. Large walls, we know what that's going to look like. It's going to look like a regular wall, but large. Fence foundations appear to be pretty similar. Oh, the fence supports look different, though. They look good. Water walls. Um, and... Railings. They look pretty similar. Sloped walls. Of course, they can go upside down now. Um, what else have we got? Foundations, pretty similar. Um, what's that? Pillars. Yeah, not much changed with those either. Hmm. I'm just thinking maybe those, those beams might want remodel to make them symmetrical because they're different on either end because I presume they've used the model from um, the pillars that we had previously so they don't really work so well that way around Oh, you can, there are two snap points there, so at least you can, oh yeah, that's not too bad I suppose, if you can toggle between those two snap points to make them match up on the end. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's alright I suppose. Right, this seagull's going to have to go, that's for sure. Let's try out this. Come here. There we go. Ladders. They look the same pretty much. Door and window, let's see what these look like. They look 
pretty much the same as before. I'm wondering if the paint different. We'll have to get some dyes and spray paint in them. Oh, I've just done the same thing twice. Meant to do this one. Of course, we've got this uh, bigger, what called, Sel S Celador, that's the one. Bigger Celadors there as well, like one ceiling wide ones. And then finally, They're bigger, aren't they, right? Are they? Or maybe, mm, maybe a, a tiny bit. I think they've made them like two foundations wide, haven't they? Whereas before they were just like a little bit less than two. Yeah, they look pretty much the same. Oh, what's this? Open. That's all the settings. Hmm, interesting. Right, and finally, we've got greenhouse. Let's throw away all this. And get some green house structures. So there's still no greenhouse foundation, but that's not really surprising. You wouldn't really uh, walk on glass, that would be dangerous. Unless it was like some special reinforced stuff, but as we know, greenhouse structures in Ark are quite fragile. Oh, I thought that was like bugged at first, but I'm getting it now, it's like that I don't know what it's called but that like um like ridged greenhouse stuff you can get in it I think that's where it's supposed to be uh not a massive fan of the look of that to be honest We'll look at the ceiling up a bit higher. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. That's, that's still that same sound. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, the seal. I don't know, I, I kind of miss the appearance of the old ones, to be honest, the, the glass, in some ways. I kind of like the um, the kind of greenish, turquoisey tint that the old ones had. I'm not a big fan of the, this dark look that these ones have got. And yeah, like, this, these walls are okay for actually making a greenhouse, I think. But if you want to use these as windows in your base, then they're just... I don't know. They're just not going to look that good, are they? I don't think. Yeah, not sure about those. Let what go? You hated the blue tint that they had. I liked it. It was maybe a little bit too strong. But, yeah. I think these have got way too much opacity. They're much too dark, I think. Need to let some light in. I like, like, the the reflectiveness of them. I think that's a nice a nice balance there with the reflections. I just think they're too dark. Yeah. So that, that's two things out of all this that we've looked at that I'm not a big fan of appearance wise. The um the stone the, not the the uh, stairways the corners and the stairways, not a big fan of the look of that. And the greenhouse structures, not a big fan of the look of those. But apart from that, yeah, let's try painting them now. Give colours. Ooh, new colours. Where have they gone? Cosmetics? Ah! Oh, that is a lot of colours! Are these like the original ones up at the top? Looks like some of them are. But then some of them... I don't know if they changed the colours. I don't know. That was, maybe they've, they've completely changed. Still got parchment and tan and... Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Let's get... Spray painter. Where's my pants gone? Oh, because I've got the search thing on. Mm. What colour should we try? Tap and to switch to saw. Oh, so you still got a mix up. But there's a button there. To, that's that's a nice feature, being able to do that. Let's toggle all these on. You know what? This might have been a bad colour to try actually because um, kind of wanted to see how. Turn this automatic thing off. Can I even... Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
auto open settings don't auto open and then close that we need to change the time of day it's kind of weird because these uh, there are a lot more I don't know there's like a a weird reflection thing going on with these now like depending on what angle you look at it it's the color changes a lot it's kind of hard to tell how the the paint's affecting it let's try a different color though do you know what let's see how white paints on things now because white tends to be bad at painting tech and metal. Right, it's still bad at painting those. It's not brilliant at painting this stuff, but it's not bad. Yeah, I think it's it's passable. Let's try it on this. Yeah. I think that's okay. Try on the thatch. Does nothing on the thatch. Can we maybe not paint thatch now? It does nothing on the wood. I guess this this is still under development then. Oh, crashed again. <laughs> oh, dear. Unless it's just the white that doesn't... Um, doesn't paint on those structures. I'll have to try a different colour. I wonder if anyone else is having these crashing problems or if it's just something that's uh, a problem on my PC. $40 well spent. I didn't spend $40, I didn't spend a thing. Because creators have been gifted this. I just noticed... Saw a map there. Ooh, new map. <laughs> Big roll back again. Still curious if you can change the colour of greenhouse here. Yeah, let's let's um let's give that a go. Let's switch back to let's get like red, a strong colour. And greenhouse. Oh yeah, so the the um the glass does paint now. Oh, and these do paint. I guess the white just doesn't do anything. They paint really well actually.
Let's get the white back on then and see what was going on with that. Mm, so white doesn't work. That's a little bit disappointing. Let's see what it does to this. Yeah, so still, like, even when this is painted white, like, the, the glass is really dark. So, yeah, white's not doing anything to the wood either. A little bit of a disappointment, that. Oh, and it's crashed. This is getting annoying now. Yeah. I think that spray paint is causing it. I'm going to stop doing that. Let's move on to investigating the snapping. Yeah, it seems like white's clear. Oh, I can't. There is one thing I want to try. Actually, I want to see how the metal paints. Oh, I don't want to crash it again, though. You're gonna have to try that in your own time. Right, snapping then. So, foundation stacking. I think I already know what this does, but demonstrate it for you guys. So, from what I can tell, it won't snap on top of each other, but you go up the hill and you get this snap point here. So, it makes it a lot easier to build on uneven ground. I can't get one there. If I go like that, then I can get one there. And then the same with going downhill. Like that. So that's going to make it easier to build on uneven terrain and the game's just crashed again. What a joke. I don't know what's going on there. I might try lowering my graphics settings down really low just to see if that helps. Because like we've looked at the structures now anyway, so I'm not too bothered about appearance. What's the flags look like? I'll have a look in a sec. How's it going anyway, Jelly Fox? You having a good day? Right, let's... Uh, video... Let's just set this to low. Still looks pretty good on low, to be fair. Like that is a big difference from from what low settings were like on ASE. Way different. Lower shadows. I don't think that did anything, did it? Turn off RTX, how do you do that? Oh, this flag to jelly. 
They're pretty similar. So they've got a nice bit of texture on them now though. Yeah, there we go. Um, so we've done the foundation stacking. We've had a look at that. What have we got next? Foundation support. So I want to check out like how far you can build from a foundation now. If we get a foundation, so in Arc Survival Evolved, you could go two ceilings out, and then that was your limit. But now we can go three ceilings onto the side by one. So that's been extended a bit. That's nice. Um, where we can get these walls, so uh, that's the limit there. We can get them there. Yeah, well, that's cool. I'm not going to say no to a bit of extra foundation support. In the menu, the separate menu RTX. I don't know. Might have to try that out after. Have a play around with it after the stream. Uh, right, what have we got next? Lowering and raising structures. So, in Ark Survival Evolved, we would get pillar. And stick it in the middle of the foundation, and that would lower it. But it seems like that's not the case anymore. But I think GG Fizz did mention something about a new way of lowering foundations. Mm hmm. Oh, it's crashed again. Don't know why it's happening. Were those foundation steps a quarter wall? Um, the foundation step. Oh, I think they were half a wall. Yeah, I think they were half the height of a wall. I should have checked that. Make sure your drivers are updated. It's very important. I'll have to do that, yeah. I think I'll just try and rush through these last few bits on my list and then I'll uh, stop the stream and try and get that sorted out. We're on lowering raising, so... I'm not sure about the lowering raising, I'll leave that for now. Um, the circle building. So what we would normally do is like use triangles and then use fence foundations. but the fence foundations don't snap on top of foundations anymore. So I guess things are going to work a little bit different now. Do they? Maybe. Do they maybe um, have more angles by default? Or do they snap at different... Right, so they, they now snap at the same angles as the triangles, so... And we maybe not get so many ang Oh, hang on. What's going on here? 
We get another one in between. That's interesting. Why did it? I didn't have that snap point before, did I? That's interesting. So you snap one there. How does that work? And then you get one in between. Yeah. That's interesting, that. That's only going to give you 12 angles, though. So I don't know if there's a way to do more than that. I'm assuming the fence supports do the same. So, yeah, we've got the six angles once again. Can we do any in between that? Yeah. So it's like we can get 12 angles from those. Uh, I wonder if there's another way to get angles. I've not thought about The beams look good for traps. Oh, I've not even thought about that, but that's a good point. Good to see the turret design in game, show you. Could we see if the tech generator still make particle mass? So we've got auto turret. Heavy turret and tip turret. So I think they're pretty much the same as what they were before. The auto turret maybe looks a little bit different, I'm not, not sure. no range option anymore I don't think there's a range option on them anymore. Uh, but no, they don't seem to have particles like some little ones, but only like close by here. That's nice. The auto turret's doing some strange things. With the model. Yeah, auto turrets definitely changed appearance. I think they all have a little bit. Just slightly. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Uh, so, angles. I can only see 12 so far. Maybe we'll find a, a way to do more later on, but seems like 12. Turn off that generator because the noise is annoying me. Maybe with the fence foundations they snap at 60, so when you put three down, it gives you a 90 option from the third. 
So you get the middle snap point, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, yeah, good point. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we've got 60 and we've got 90. So I guess this is like the new way to make round things. I don't know. So maybe super circular builds are like a thing of the past. We'll have to wait and see. In 12 sides isn't too bad. More would be nice, but... Yeah, we'll see. Right, what's the next thing on my list? Angle circles. I forgot to select that, but I've done that. And finally, the janky stuff. So what I mean by this is can we, like, still trick it into floating structures and that kind of thing so let me think of an example of doing that um, Oh, just, just give me a minute, I just have to answer the phone. Right, I'm back. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, floating structures. Um, right, so, let's see, can we place that, and then, We like get a railing and place that there. No, I can't replace that with a railing. Uh, I think it's like currently, if you replace structures with other structures that don't have a connection, then it'll make it float. I just can't think of a way. Of doing that right now. What about if I was to get a fence foundation and snap that from this ceiling? And then let's turn on debug structures so we can see the connections here. So that's connected to. wall but it's not connected to fence it's like it snapped 
the fence foundation snapped from that ceiling, but it's not connected to it. Hmm. Yeah, that that might not be a thing anymore then. You know what else we need to try actually? Rafts. And we need to see how things place on there, whether, whether we can build tilt structures and all that. First of all, let's see if there's an, are there any snap points on here. What about ceilings? No. What about foundations? No. Visual range. Hmm. Um, what about fence foundations? So I'm not seeing any snapping. Oh, that's interesting. That fence foundation is only going that way around. Ah. So structures don't snap to it, but they they're aligned with it. Oh, and then hold E. The full full alignment mode, free placing. Ah, so you can free place, and then you've got full alignment mode. Can you still do the old trick with? Being in the seat and get a pillar. No, we can't place pillars from there anymore. That's a thing of the past. But we can now we use this alignment thing so that the structures are perfectly aligned. It would be nice to be able to like center it somehow. Maybe we'll figure out a trick. Hmm. Might have to come up with something for that, but it's nice to be able to align it anyway. Uh, so what I wanted to try out was if I get a ram this will do the job actually if I get one of these how will the fence foundation interact with that don't think it makes any difference to it because fence foundation is no longer place on structures, they only go on the ground now. So I guess that's been fixed. What's going on down here? Yeah, that's that's no longer possible I don't think. Fair enough. Uh, so that's raft. Um, right, what have we got next? Right, we're on to creature trapping now. So I'm going to... I think I'm going to try... Like... An RG. You know what, let's let's go to the Argy Mountain. That I did my video on. Uh, 
this one. Go to the same location. Right, it's changed a bit as this mountain actually. A bit of a different shape now. Um, it was somewhere around this kind of area though. I don't want to be near these aloes though. Let's do it over here. In fact, are there any arches around that we can use? Yeah, there's one there. Raptors there though. Creatures everywhere. Right, let's use the command leave me alone and we shouldn't get bothered. And I'm going to see if I can um, in fact, no, before that we're supposed to be testing the what am I supposed to be testing? Creature collision. Let's test the creature collision for a start. Stone foundations, stone walls. Uh, let's get ceilings and doors. Let's just see. Let's spawn a. Let's spawn an RG in. Is that not the right command anymore? on that and then lost him ah. hang on oh I got it So it seems like they're still interacting the same way. Like I was wondering whether the wings would affect it or something now, but it seems like like it still behaves the same way. So you've got kind of like a um, a sphere in an invisible sphere that's like basically the, the limits of where it can um, push into a structure, if you know what I mean. It seems to still work, work the same way. So yeah, that's that question answered. And then creature AI. I guess we need a wild one to test this out. Well, I've, um, I've made it so stuff won't follow me now, haven't I? Oh no, it's oh no, it's attacking the RG. Uh, how do I turn that thing off now? Is it an invisible false? See, we 
make a little Ugh. structure placement. It's a bit weird. We make a little. Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to get that ceiling. But whatever. Just make this for testing purposes, and then we'll spawn Naji. Does it still behave the same? Does it still follow me the same? It seems to. Let's see if it'll follow me into here. Oh, has it got distracted? Yeah, it still seems to behave the same, so... I guess traps are still going to be, th be a thing. Um, do you, you do still tame things the same, don't you? They've not like completely changed the taming methods or anything, have they? Like this is still a knockout term. I'm not going to be wasting my time making a trap for this, am I? Still KO. Right, cool. See if the RG trap still works since building pieces are slightly different. I'm going to try and make one now. See if I can come up with one. Let's get a bit of space somewhere else away from that. So, foundation. We want a door, double door there. I wonder if those secret doors will be of any use. They might be in some situations. Oh, these, let's all look how they open again. I wonder if they could be useful for some traps. Stone ceiling. Um. Door in the it's getting a bit annoying. Right, what do we want now? Let's see. See what the costs are of these. So we've got the wall still 40 stone to make that. Then we've got these quarter stone walls. These are going to be great for, for traps, for especially for like smaller creatures. I think these are going to be really handy. Um, so they're half the price. Do you know what? I've not tested. Not tested. Whether fence supports now support ceilings. Let's try fence foundation and we'll try fence support. Get a wall on each of those. That doesn't. That doesn't. No. So neither of those support those. So foundations are probably still the way the way to go. So I'm thinking like I could. 
could. No, it's going to be better to just do double door frames on each side. Like I could cut the cost down a little bit by putting a railing on this side, but it's not worth the hassle. I don't think of. Um, of uh, what was I saying? It's not worth the hassle of like for the sake of that twenty stone. You might as well just have the same structure for each. It's less different types of structures like in that time that you've wasted looking for that different type of structure in your structure list you could have just found that extra 20 stone uh, um, our ceilings and hatch frames are the same thing now so yeah there's no point doing these hatch frames anymore i used to do them sometimes with traps to cut down on cost but there's no point now those could come in handy for some traps, maybe. Reinforced cellar door. But yeah, I'm going to try that out. I don't know if the RG is going to fly too high to go in there. I built this in a really bad place, actually, haven't I? Let's give it a go, there. Oh, missed. Yeah, this is not a good place for a, a trap. <laughs> it's a terrible location. Oh, I'm stuck. Might have to rebuild this somewhere else. I can see where I'm going. Right, I'm, I'm rebuilding this. Let's go somewhere else. Like, uh, let's just go down here. Bit of open space. I like how it remembers what the last variation of the structure you used was. It'd be nice if it, um, I think it'd be better if it updated the icon on the hot bar though to match up with it. Not tested how these open actually. Do they always open? Open mode, in and out, always out, always in. In and out should work. Like if you're that side, it's going to open that way, but like you're never going to be opening it from that side realistically. You're always going to be like on this side of it. That's fine. Right, let's try it again. Yeah, it's a little bit too low is that for it really. I think it's going to need tweaking a bit as that. It's going to be hard for them to get in the trap. Yeah, I'm can't be having that. Let's try. Um, 
What was it called now? Is it this one roof? Can we snap that to that and then switch that to that one so it's not so steep? And place that like that. Give that a go. That should give us the height that we need, hopefully. That seems to work. Let's get it knocked out. down with the ramp you were on the same uh, wavelength as me I think couldn't you monkey puzzle I didn't see that message until now so there we go there's a trap for you I don't know if that'll be the one I'm using in the new video but yeah I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start working on some traps now I'm, I'm gonna start with an, the RG trap get a video out for that and then I'll move on to some other ones Probably like Rex Trap, Giga Trap, Spino Trap. I can't think what, which other creatures are on the island that I've done. Um, or Rhino Trap. I'm going to leave that till last. Yeah. Because that'll, that'll take a bit of messing around with that one. But. Yeah, I'll have a play around with this RG trap, see if I can come up with anything even simpler. I've got a lot of new structures to play with now. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll leave the stream there, I think, and uh, I'll have a play around with that. And then you'll hopefully see some videos from me very soon. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch you later. Thanks to everyone who's watched. See you later.